Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to convert any image into cartoon or anime style. So let's get started with this one. It's gonna be Lens Go AI, and this is gonna be the application or landing page you're seeing also on your end. Now, on the left side, you'll see 50 tokens, and basically, these tokens are reset or refurnish every 13 hours, or rather, I'm gonna estimate of 24 hours. If you're gonna tr try a free trial account, you'll have 50 tokens per day. I think that's enough for a few um, generation right here. Now, you'll have two options, um, creating images or create images or animate videos. So I'm gonna um, explain the animate videos part on the next video. But for now, let's focus on create images. So I'm gonna click this one right here. And now I'm arrived on this landing page or basically, it's an editing platform. And right now on the left side, you'll have models, you have image dimensions, you have number of images, Texting guidance scale, basically this is the intensity on how it reflects on your prompt. Negative prompts, if you enable this one, you can enter the things you don't want to see on your product. For example, I'm going to add something here, for example, noisy, um, pixelated, like so, blurry. These are the things that I don't want to see on my output. I'm just going to import it right there, and then I can proceed as it is. But for now, speaking of images, I want you to know about this application. It's a very powerful one, it's gonna be called Hitpo AI. And right now it has four applications to work with, Image Enhancer or Upscale, AI Generator, Remove Background or Object Removal. It's a very powerful tool, let's gonna let's scan on it right now. So let's start with AI Enhancer. I'm gonna choose a file right now. If you don't have a file, you can choose with the examples right here. But for now, I'm gonna upload the file myself. Now, once uploaded, will be look like this on the left side or right side. You'll have choices on how to work with it. You have face model, general model. You also have different kinds of models right here. You have denoise, colorize, color calibration, scratch repair, or low light model. Please choose one that best fits your um, output. For now, I'm gonna go with general with fast one. If you want um prioritizing or prioritizing quality, please choose that one right there. But for now, I'm gonna go with fast, and then I'm gonna choose the default of 400 resolution. And then I'm simply gonna click on preview to check the difference before I export. So as you can see right here, this will be the upscaled result with the um, watermark right here because I'm still using the free trial. But as you can see the difference of the two, right? I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And as you can see right there, the realistic part on the output is very much so. And that being said, let's try the second one, which is going to be, let me just remove this one. And basically, the next one will be a generator. Click on generate image right there. And basically, you'll arrive on this landing page where basically it's a text to image. So for example, you have the image size here. You'll have different sizes. Resolution will be right here. I'm going to go with the voice value one one is to one. Also, you can upload the reference image here to work it as it is. But for now, I'm gonna go with the text and I'm gonna choose this oil painting. And then basically, I'm gonna type in a girl in a forest. Easy as that. And click on generate as it is. And then when I'm satisfied with my prompt, I'm gonna click on generate. And you'll see this um, warning or rather notification where for free trial, you can generate two images. So it lets me try right there. Click on continue trial. And then basically, it will now generate in a few minutes. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back, and this will be the results right now. I'm gonna have this output based on my prompt. And to be honest, it's very um, realistic. It's very good looking. Now after generating some image earlier, let's now focus on removing background, this option right here. So click on start remove right there. And then let's just choose a photo you want to remove a background with. So I'm gonna use this photo I got from mid journey. This one right here. And basically right now, it's gonna ask me or remind me that for free trial, we only have three images to remove. So I'm gonna go continue with continue trial right there and wait for it to finish. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back. As you can see right now, there is the result on the left side. The output is on the right side, or rather input. And as you can see, it's gonna be auto-generated or Hitpo auto-detect the body or the human inside the photo. And it is the one that highlighted on the left side will be the background remove. And how powerful is that? Now you can still edit some things here if you want, but for now, as you can see, it's gonna be flawless. 
it only focuses on the human and then remove its background. If you want to export it, simply click on this one and then you should be good to go. But for now, I cannot export because I'm using a free trial. Anyway, let's check on the other features. Click on home button. And by the way, guys, almost forgot regarding AI generator. If you click on generate image one more time earlier, we tried generating text to image, right? You can also try uploading an image right there and then choose an image you want to work with. And basically with the image, choose a style. For example, I'm going to go with um, movie and then type in a very easy prompt or basic prompt that reference your image. For example, curly hair or rather brown eyes. Easy as that. Now, simply click on generate. But with this one, I don't have any more um, free tokens because I already used it earlier. And basically, that's it. Just simply click on generate and you're good to go. Now, I'm going to go back now regarding the features with the last one, object removal. So I'm going to start to remove something here. Click on that one. Now, it will choose a specific photo to remove from. For example, this one right here. And basically, it will look like this. So this is going to be your sample photo to work with. There are sections here or tools to work. So you can either AA back selection, for example, choose the image. And then AI will use the box to reference the image. If you don't want to use that, for example, I can use brush and then manually type in or highlight the person or object you want to remove. Like so what I'm doing right now. So for example, I'm just going to highlight this object right here or human. And then with this one, if I'm satisfied, I can quickly click on preview. Right. So and it will take around two minutes or so. I'll get back to you once it's here. So as you can see right there, the object earlier has been removed. Just for sample purposes, let me just pull up that image. Now for references, this is the original one on the right. And then the left one would be the one that hit or removed. How powerful is that, right? If you're satisfied with this one, simply click on export. But since I have a free trial, I can only click on preview to show you guys. Now again, this is going to be hit for AI. Please check it out and utilize it. And you see right now it's pretty powerful. I suggest trying out the paid subscription. Anyway, let me just close this one. And let's focus now on Lens Go. So basically, again, choose a model, for example, anime. Choose a dimension, number of images, text guidance scale right there. For if you're all set here, type in the image prompt. You'll have future prompts here to try with. But for now, I'm simply going to go with a girl in a forest. Easy as that. Or rather in a forest. Sorry about that. And basically, this will cost me 4 coins. I still have 50 anyway. I'm gonna click start right now. And then Lens Go will generate 2 AIs. Now while waiting, let's multitask to save time. Let's try doing some cartoon. So pick star style right there. If you adjust this um, scale, it means that it will now reference less regarding the model. If you increase it, it will now look as much as a model or cartoon. So the sweet spot here would be 6 to 60 or 0.6 to 65. Now, before we proceed on the mixer or cartoon, let's now um, give attention on the anime earlier. So these are the results. You can click on this one to preview. Oh, by the way, guys, you can also click on this one to download. And how good is this one? It's going to be a girl in the forest anime style. These are the prompts right there. And basically, let's move on with the cartoon. So basically, same prompt. Um, I'm just going to change the model. Everything is the same. And simply click on that button right there. Now, let's move on to the last feature, adding an image. I'm going to choose the same sample I got earlier, the one I'm using, just for discussion purposes. I'm just going to look for it very quickly here. I think it's going to be this one. And basically, now I'm going to change my prompt. I'm going to choose a prompt that best reference my image. So I'm going to say curly hair, red lips, and basically let's just say brown eyes. Now I'm still going to use cartoon pixel or cartoon model right there and click on four or rather this button to start. As you can see right here, this two right now would be our girl in the forest cartoon style in comparison with the girl in the person or rather girl in the forest anime style. If you're going to ask me, I'm going to still go with cartoon style. Now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait for the last one. So right now, as you can see right here, this would be the new image. If you click on this, hover your mouse, you'll see the reference image. And as you can see, since I've used a curly hair, red lips, brown eyes, 
it really went with that specific prompt. It really is a good um, image to text here or text to image. Please check this out. And if you check on this one, these are the new prompts we have. Again, this button right here, you can download it. And basically, it will go to your PC without no problem. Also, if you go to Fiverr, you can see right here, these are the clients that are looking for you where you specific skill set, changing any image to cartoon. So please check it out and earn passive income. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.